A think tank with close links to the People's Republic of China claimed that the U.S. Air Force has been trolling the People's Liberation Army. This assertion has been made by the South China Sea Strategic Situation Probing Initiative SCSPI, a research policy organization affiliated with Peking University. As per the think tank, which identified an RC-135S Cobra Ball aircraft, its route, and a particular call sign, stated that the U.S. Air Force is probably calling PLA names. This is an interesting assertion. Viewers may note that the think tank supports China's claims in the South China Sea. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the U.S. Air Force has trolled the Chinese military as it flew near the country's airspace. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The Boeing RC-135 is a family of large reconnaissance aircraft built by Boeing and modified by a number of companies, including General Dynamics, Lockheed, LTV, E-Systems, and L3 Technologies, and used by the United States Air Force and Royal Air Force. The RC-135S Cobra Ball is a militarized Boeing 707 civilian airliner and is equipped with an advanced array of optical and electronic sensors, recording media, and communications equipment. It's a unique national asset for the U.S. as it's designed to provide American leaders and military establishment with vital information that's unlikely to be obtained by any other source. The RC-135S Cobra Ball flies Joint Chiefs of Staff directed missions of national priority to collect optical and electronic data on ballistic targets. The data is intended to verify arms treaty compliance and U.S. strategic defense inspections. There are only three Cobra Ball planes in the world. The RC-135S reportedly flew several days in a row over the Yellow Sea. Viewers may note that the timing coincided with the ballistic missile test from the South Korean submarine Dosan An Cheng Ho. The first ever ballistic missile test by South Korea was conducted on September 7th. It's most likely that the Cobra Ball mission was carried out to observe this test. Any long-range missile fired from South Korea would fly south by southwest across the Yellow Sea to avoid the airspace of Japan, Russia, or China. RC-135S flying over the Yellow Sea would be in an ideal position but also pretty close to China. SCSPI stated that the call sign Junkie 81, used by RC 135S Cobra Ball, was used to deliberately insult the PLA. The think tank expressed this through a tweet. As per some reports, Junkie 81 includes two references. The first, Junkie, is a reference to the U.S. air crew's opinion of the People's Liberation Army. The second, 8 and 1, appears on official PLA flags and refers to August 1, 1927, the day of the Nanchang Uprising, 
and now regarded as the anniversary of China's armed forces. Interestingly, the aircraft flew with the call sign Junkie 81 even after the SCSPI repeatedly called out its previous flights through Twitter. This is not the first time the US military has seemingly trolled China. Sometime back, the US Navy released a photo that's got a lot of attention on social media platforms because of the underlying message that it served. In the photo, the commanding officer and executive officer of the USS Mustin, an Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer, can be seen watching on as China's lounging aircraft carrier sails nearby. The captain has his feet up in a nonchalant pose as the pair laid their eyes on China's prized asset. The photo was said to be taken on April 4th. The warships were just around a few thousand meters away from each other. The message was clear. Liaoning is not a major threat for the US Navy, and USS Mustin can handle it without much fuss. It was seen as psychological warfare by many experts. Lu Li Shi, a former instructor at Taiwan's Naval Academy at Kaohsiung, told the South China Morning Post, This staged photography is definitely cognitive warfare to show the US doesn't regard the PLA as an immediate threat. Speaking at a press conference, Wao Chen, a spokesperson for China's defense ministry, criticized the U.S. for disrupting the military drill. The USS Mustin had been shadowing the People's Liberation Army Aircraft Carrier Group for nearly three weeks. China has been using psychological warfare on its much smaller neighbors. This includes carefully crafted social media posts, news articles, and commentary designed to show the country's military might to intimidate rivals. China's strategy further takes it forward with low-intensity but constant and simultaneous small provocations at multiple pressure points. This serves to stretch thin the capabilities of nations like the Philippines and Vietnam to respond while limiting the risk of escalation to a manageable level. Now the U.S. military is taking a leaf out of Chinese books and applying it against China. This marks a significant change in American tactics, and it seems the U.S. is ready to pay back China using the same coin. As evident from the Chinese response, it's clearly unsettled by this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.